Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the fantasy novels Essence and I Am Mercy and soon to be published thriller novel She's Not Here. And today is another video in the Marketing for Authors series and that is how authors should be using Twitter. Before I want to jump into everything, I do want to mention that I have a fun announcement at the end, so be sure to stay tuned for the whole video so you can find out what it is. So how should authors be using Twitter? Well, I can tell you how most authors use Twitter, and I can tell you that the way most authors use it is not necessarily successfully. So most authors use Twitter to just talk about their book and to advertise about their book, and there are a lot of authors that only use it to tweet out, you know, promotional stuff about their books. And while that is useful in small amounts, it is not good if that is the only thing you're tweeting because people are not going to follow you for that reason. If they want to read the book, they will read it. They won't follow you to learn about it. They will just either buy it or they won't. So if you just keep tweeting about it, then you're getting annoying and then they're going to unfollow you. So what should you be tweeting instead? Well, you have to become an asset to the community. Now that may sound complicated, but on Twitter it's actually really, really simple. So what I want you to do, if you are not on Twitter and you kind of want to get into that realm, you have to first get on Twitter, create a Twitter handle with your author name if you can. Try to make it fit all your other social media usernames so they're all the same. Mine is Mandy Lynn Wright, so whether you're looking for me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, it is always Mandy Lynn Writes. So once you're on Twitter, I want you to start following other writers and other people that are just posting about writing. And I want you to notice what types of things get retweeted and get a lot of interaction. And you will notice that they're very simple things. They are things that people are just tweeting out, you know, quotes about writing, quotes about reading, um, just life of a writer sort of thoughts that pop into your head. There's really no good way for me to explain it. I just want you guys to go on Twitter and see like the top trending stuff under the hashtag am writing or am reading. Once you check out the hot, top trending stuff, you will kind of get a better feel for what people are looking for on Twitter. And that's the type of stuff you want to be posting. Just random thoughts that have to relate to writing or reading. And you'll notice other people have those same random thoughts. So once you start tweeting that sort of stuff, people will follow you, and once they start following you, then every now and then you can interject things about your novels. But you want the main thing to be is what people are looking for, and that's those random thoughts related to reading and writing. They're also looking for, you know, updates on your book writing process because as they follow you, they'll become a fan of your work and not just a fan of the random stuff you tweet out. So you've started posting the random tweets and, and photos and anything that has to do with reading and writing, but how do you actually promote your books while still gaining your followers and gaining their trust? So the way you do that is to every now and then interject like quotes from your novels, updates on your novel writing progress, and you can do that with pictures or just a plain old normal tweet. Try to be inspirational, fun, and just plain old entertaining. Don't try to be too salesy because people do not like that. Try to be very subtle in the way that you're talking about your novel. Don't say, buy my novel. Just put your novel out there and hope that other people will catch on to it. And then of course, in between the posts about your novel and your writing, you do want to interject those inner ramblings that tend to go viral on Twitter. Interact with other hashtags that tend to pop up on Twitter and just absolutely have fun. You'll notice the more you get into it, the more you will learn about the community and the more that there is to do in order to interact with the community. And last but not least, a very fun thing to do is to create a Twitter chat. So what is a Twitter chat? It's basically a hashtag you follow. There tends to be a, um, a scheduled date of the Twitter chat. So Kim Chance, for example, has Chance to Connect. I believe it's every first Tuesday of the month during a certain time. But during that time, she will post a, a like question after question after question 
and people will answer it by responding to that tweet using the hashtag and then a whole community builds around the hashtag. And it's just a great way for Kim to to grow her community and for other people in the community to meet other writers and readers that can help them bond and just feel feel like they want to write more. So to jump on that bandwagon, I have actually created my own little Twitter chat using the hashtag WriteWithMandy. So this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time, but I just never really had the time. But now I have sat down, I have scheduled things out, I have a whole list of questions, and this is the day that the Twitter chat is going to go live every month. I'm going to start off with once a month and then work up from there if I feel like it. But I want to start off with once a month because I still am very active on um, here on YouTube, on Instagram and other things like that. So I don't want to be like too overwhelmed, but I would love to jump into that Twitter community and, you know, follow my own advice. So I will see you guys on Twitter at this time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you understand Twitter a little bit more and how you can interact with readers there. And again, don't be too salesy with your novel because people don't like that. That's a little obnoxious and people people just want to hear about books organically. So you kind of got to got to get your book into their pockets organically. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest things that I'm doing, be sure to subscribe to my author newsletter. The link will be down below. And when you subscribe, you get a free download of my mini guide, How to Conquer Writer's Block. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe.